Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Phil's Five. Uh, before I got into the substance of what I've got on my script today, I wanted to talk just a little bit about the state of the market. I know like you floating around on LinkedIn and in the media and all over the place, there's been, I think, uh, way too much doom and gloom and way too much uh, rumors of the demise of the housing industry and all those sensationalist type of things. Uh, I'm here to tell you that those are those rumors are greatly exaggerated and I wanted to just share a few stats that kind of put everything into perspective in terms of where we're at and a quick forecast of where I think we're going over the next six months and beyond. Uh, first of all, if you look at, you know, everyone likes to look at the last couple of years and obviously we know that growth hasn't been sustainable. It hasn't been healthy. When you've got 20 people bidding over the same house, that's not good for the homeowner. And that shows that we've been completely unable as an industry due to supply chain and regulatory challenges and otherwise to keep up with the demand that's out there. Uh, that has been particularly acute here in the last couple of years, but really it's been the case over the last decade or more. And during that last decade, this area in DFW has added 1.2 million people. It's uh, quite incredible. And even with that, we haven't been able to supply the housing that we need despite last year hitting record numbers for starts, uh, just over 60,000. So uh, you look ahead and I always tell everybody, homes are where the jobs sleep at night. And that's absolutely the case. And jobs are a leading indicator for the demand and the health of our industry in terms of how much we need to supply if we're able to do it. And in particular there, we uh, are on track to add about 430,000 jobs in the DFW area over the next five years. Just in the pandemic period alone, we've added 321,000 jobs and that laps the field if you take the top 12 metro areas that uh, exist in the country, that's more than the next three combined. So if homes are where the jobs sleep at night, and the jobs are coming here, those are pretty good numbers, especially during a time when we haven't been able to meet the demands that have been asked from us. And you know that's, uh, I think, where it all comes down to in terms of how quickly we can get through what I think will will be a rocky six months just in the sense that there are 33,000 homes under construction right now. There's never been close to that many actively under construction in our market. And those changes, as changes tend to do, have people a little bit nervous. However, if you look at all the just looking 10 years back and the inventory trends, we're basically on a slow descent back into the 2016 to 2019 time frame. And you remember those years, it may seem like a lifetime ago pre-COVID, but those, uh, those weren't bad years. So keep that in perspective when you're looking at some of these market reports and a little return to normalcy, I think will be welcome in most cases. I know that's definitely the case here on my desk, but anyway, enough on that. Let's get straight into what we've got going on at the association here. I'll try to keep it quick. We've got after hours with over 100 RSVPs tomorrow. Home Pro is going to do a great job over in Carrollton hosting that. Uh, be sure to register at DallasBuilders.org if you haven't already. They've got uh, a burrito bar from Freebirds. They've got a mini mixology class, which is super cool, and uh, cowboy tickets for Thanksgiving Day. Uh, the game there are one of many of the prizes that they're going to have, so that ought to be a great incentive for you to get there. We also have coming up our first ever Associates Appreciation Trivia Night. That's on September the 8th. It's a Thursday. Limited registration. Only 80 people can fit in our conference room and do that comfortably. It is filling up fast, so it looks like this is going to be a success. Go to DallasBuilders.org if you want to register. And Builders, we really need you to partner for this event and appreciate our associates. The golf tournament, a tradition unlike any other, the Dallas BA Open, is coming on Monday, November 7th. It's at Brookhaven Country Club. A big thanks to Anderson Windows and Doors for their partnership there. Again, you can register at DallasBuilders.org. Installation is coming up. It's uh, hashtag installation season here. October 1st, Saturday, is when we'll have our leadership installation at Las Colinas Country Club. Uh, the board elections will be announced here very shortly, so look for an announcement on that uh, to see the election results. And a big thanks to Structure Home Warranty for being the title sponsor for installation. And last but not least, the Home Pack Shootout. 
that's next week. It's a last call for participants in that. That's brought to you by BGE. You can register at dallasbuilders.org. It's going to be over at Elm Fork Shooting Sports in Dallas. Four-person teams, we'd love to have you come out. I think it's going to be a great time to reload our pack ahead of a very busy election season, a very busy building season, a very busy event season here at the Dallas BA. Thanks for tuning in this week. Keep on building, and I'll talk to you next time.